Hey guys, uh, I just kind of haven't done a video for a little while, so um, I've been kind of um, been quite slow on purchasing uh, cards for the last while and stuff, but they, they're still kind of trickling in. So I've had kind of built up a little bit of a mail day, uh, and uh, I thought, ah, the next mail day I do, I'm also going <clears> to <throat> open a pack of cards. So I uh, have a, another pack of 96 Tops Series 2 basketball that I'm going to open up, uh, which will actually mark halfway through all the packs that I have. I had a dozen packs, and this is number six. Uh, and we have yet to hit a Kobe. Uh, we have hit a few other ones. Uh, you know, we got an Allen Iverson rookie uh, and two Jordans, a base. Uh, and we also hit uh, a 50th, uh, NBA 50th parallel, <clears throat> which is pretty sweet. Um, <laughs> wicked damage on it. <laughs> the other ones are actually quite good. The AI's got a little bit of a snowflake on his shorts. and uh, the, But the base Jordan is actually... A rock solid card. I'm very happy with the condition that one's in. But anyways, uh, I got a bit of a mail day. Uh, these are all Shaq cards. Um, Jordan stuff is just, it's just getting too expensive. Uh, even the ridiculous, you know, uh, even the, the regular inserts that should be no more than five or six bucks <clears throat> are people want 25 30 40 dollars for them so i'm like this it's absolutely ridiculous so um i've just been buying a lot more shack stuff and you find some find some guys once in a while that have uh some good things that you can buy in lots and away you go uh so this is 1994 skybox premium slam and universe um nothing special about this card um shack dunking it was in series two packs. It's a 30 card set and they were one in two packs. <laughs> so this is, you know, about as common and, uh, that's on the penny sleeve. That's not on the card yeah. or the top loader. Maybe hmm. card itself is actually pretty good. Um, but yeah, just a kind of whatever kind of insert. Uh, this is a 94 upper deck special edition silver. Uh, these are uh, full set parallel so there's 180 cards in the in the set uh and each one of them has a silver or a, you could get a gold the silvers were one per pack so one in 180 packs to um get the you know the shack the one that you wanted um but they also came with a gold um and then all this silver around the edges and stuff is uh is a gold color and those were one per box so one per box and then a full 180 card parallel set um I wouldn't mind one of those, but those are a little harder to come by. Uh, one of my favorites, actually, I'm quite a fan of these electric courts. Electric diamonds for baseball and electric courts for uh, basketball. And this is the 95, 93, 93 Upper Deck SE electric court. Uh, 225 card set, uh, so parallel, one one per one, pretty much like, uh, like the SE special editions. Um, and this also came with uh, a gold, which we're a little harder to tell because the electric diamond down here, as you can see, it's like a glittery silver, uh, and it was actually a more of a glittery gold. I think the easier way to tell is on the back, the silver hologram was like a, a gold hologram, and those were one per 35, 35 packs, I think, to get one. And then 225 cards in the set. So those are a little bit... The golds are um, have a bit of a price tag on them. Um, so they're quite a bit harder to come by. Uh, this one is a 98 Upper Deck Black Diamond. This is the uh, Double Diamond. And they were red. I think the, the regular cards were more of a black in the front. And it's got the two diamonds there. Which means it is uh, numbered out of 3,000. There's like double diamond, there's triple diamond. <clears throat> what were those? Those were numbered out of, I can't even, I'm not even going to say because I can't remember. I looked it all up and now I've totally forgotten. <laughs> but there's like double, there was double diamond, triple diamond, quadruple diamond, and then I think there was like a platinum diamond. And then they went down to numbered, I think the platinum diamonds were like numbered out of 25 or something goofy. So like this was whatever, this was 12 bucks, free shipping. Um, it's in pretty decent shape. I'm pretty happy with it. 
you know, but it's numbered out of 3,000, which, yeah, man, you know what? 98, card from 98 number to 3,000, it's in decent shape. It's got that upper deck, that foiling. I know everybody knows, everybody knows this foiling from the mid-90s. I, I like it. I like it a lot. It's almost got like a texture to it. Um, the black foil, and this one's in a, in a red. So, uh, yeah, that one's pretty cool. I like that one. Um, this is a 93 Stadium Club Beam Team. Second year they did Beam Team inserts. Uh, so it's just Sha also Shaq's second year. Uh, this is the members only. <clears throat> when I was doing searching around for this, I stumbled upon two different versions of this card, which I did not understand. Um... Well, there's actually, okay, technically there's three versions of this card. There's the version that you could get from PAX, which was this card with no script in the silver foil. It did not say members only in there. It was just like a, a silver silver foiling in there, silver kind of reflective, um, refractor kind of foil. Anyways, uh, and that's the one you could pull from PAX. Uh, then there's the members only. This is the more common of the members only. Uh, if you were part of the uh, stadium club, members club you could order a factory set and it was a series one and series two if you bought the full full factory set series one and two combined this was the beam team card that was included in it they'd give you the full one to 27 card beam team set and this is the one that you would get and it had the silver silver script if you only purchased a series one when it came out the series one factory set Shaq and Jordan were both in the Series 1 beam teams, uh, and you would get the members-only cards and the members-only beam teams. With, with They didn't have the script in here. They had a little stamp up here that was, said, said members-only. It was actually the same stamp that they used on the 92 members-only stuff. Um, they just reused it on these ones. And that one, those are little gold stamps, says members only up here. That is the much more rare um, version of this card. I kind of stumbled across a couple of the other ones and I was like, what's the difference? And I had a lot of trouble. Shout out to uh, Bobbles from Bobbles and Ball Cards because he's actually the one who uh, sent him a question about this card. And uh, he found the answer for me rather quickly. And I was Googling around for quite a while trying to figure it out. So ridiculous. <clears throat> but I'm pretty happy with this card. Uh, it didn't cost me a whole lot. And um, it's a second year Shaq um, beam team. Like, I don't know. I'm pretty happy with it. And it is the members only. I don't know if I'd buy just the regular uh, from the pack version. But um, members only for sure. But I am now... <laughs> hunting for the guy. I want kind of, I want both. I want the one with the gold stamp, but those are quite a bit harder to come by. Uh, and they are more expensive, but anyways, uh, and then in my travels, I came across and uh, this is, the, and this was brand new to me. I've, you know, been back in the hobby, whatever, four years now. Um, and this is the very first I am hearing of this. Like, it's so ridiculous. You can still come across stuff from the 90s. Uh, 1998, obviously. Uh, this is the 98 Rapper Redemption. And in 1998, the NBA uh, did kind of a joint thing with uh, Fleer Ultra, uh, Skybox Z Force, Stadium Club, Stadium Club Chrome, and... I think it's just upper deck or is it upper deck S I think it's just upper deck and you could mail in, you had to mail in 40, uh, series two wrappers from all of these. I don't think it was 40 per, per all like ultra and, and Z force and whatever. I think it was just 40 total of one of these or combined or whatever of series two packs. Uh, and they would send you, uh, this four card, you could get like a poster, you could get audit, you know, memorabilia and a bunch of other stuff, but it was 40, 40 wrappers, uh, and then two bucks or whatever, and a self address, self address stamped envelope. And you would get, could get these four cards. First, I'm ever laying eyes on these damn things <clears throat> and they're different. They have a different picture than, um, the cards that are actually in the set. Uh, and they're numbered one of four, one of four, Two of four, 
three of four, and four of four. Uh, and it's called the 98 Rapper Redemption set. Um, so I am, as soon as I, I can't even remember how I stumbled upon it. It wasn't very long ago. I was on eBay and stumbled across these things. And I was like, what the hell are those things? Had to have them. Found out, I found a nice, um, a guy that had a nice set for sale. Um, decently cheap for what I think I paid like 20 bucks or something and got them. Uh, and then in more of my searching, and I'm not even 100% sure, I can't, I'm not a very good Googler at stuff. Um, so when I'm trying to look for answers on things, I never get the results I want. But I think Trading Card Database, TCB, or TCD, has a version I guess it was a variation that you could get um, of number three, the Stadium Club Chrome one, and it was called 3A, and it was actually a re- it came in, and I think it was just totally random whether you got one or not, and it was a re- this card in a refractor. I have searched, I can't find an image, I can't find anybody one for sale, past sales. Nothing. I can't find any actual information or picture of one of these cards in a refractor form except for it listed as a variation 34 or 3 3A um, on only on the trading card database. I can't find it in any of my old Beckett's. I can't find it on the Beckett website. I can't find any information about there actually being a refractor version of this card anywhere but that is has become my number one obsession i want one of these with the gold stamp but this is my this is what's been kind of consuming my time at work lately um just thinking of differences well maybe if i search it this way or maybe if i search that way um i don't know i don't know i can't find any information besides what is on trading card database about this card being a variation and coming in a refractor. So, I might be just hunting for a ghost. <laughs> it might not even actually be a thing, but I will let you know if I actually do find a car, come across that in a uh, in refractor form. But other than that, uh, pretty cool little four-card set. Mail-in, it was only for like six months in 1998. Um, and... Yeah, I couldn't imagine there being tons of these ones out there. You can get them for quite cheap. Um, I don't know. I just think that's a pretty sweet little addition. Anyways, we're done all that. Um, I have a, I searched through, I picked out, I always, whenever I search through, I pick out what I deem as the worst pack. Uh, and that's the one I'm going to open next. I was, these were going to be, I was just going to keep them. I was just going to keep them forever put them away and stuff but then I opened one because I could feel that they're bricked and this is uh, I know scissors but these these packs do not open nice they're coming apart they're like this is the only good way to open them is with a pair of scissors but anyways uh these cards are bricked and I was kind of like well you know what you keep them forever they're not going to get better they're just going to slowly get worse and worse until possibly the cards are completely unusable or like you can't separate them or do anything with them and like so far we are actually getting some pretty decent shaped cards out of there so on the back we got danny manning oh ray allen i believe that is a rookie card as well ray allen rookie card right on the front um quick look at the centering looks it's a little heavy on the top and a little heavy on the left but other than that uh, not too bad. Let's just see how. And you know what? I know. Ooh, actually, it's not coming apart too bad. Ooh, Sharif Abdul Rahim on the second card. So we got Ray Allen. Sharif Abdul Rahim. As always, we're looking for we're looking for the man of the hour. We're looking for Kobe. That's kind of the one I would really like to find. Brooks Thompson. These are actually coming apart pretty darn nice. And they're coming apart with no paper loss. I don't see any snowflakes or anything there. Uh, <laughs> I say that, and then all, then the next card is... Oh, come on. 
Next card. Oh, Joe Dumars. Well, that's all right. Joe Dumars, he's Hall of Fame. I'm quite sure. Actually, I should check that because I'm now I'm not 100% sure. John Stockton, very cool. This isn't, this isn't a bad pack, actually, so far. Oh. I know I watch other videos and guys are um, opening old packs and they're kind of bricked and because uh, they don't want the, the uh, video to be too long, so they're just kind of like, ah, and they're just like pulling them apart. Uh, yeah, you're not going to get that here. <laughs> These are my cards, and I am not going to separate them quickly. So if uh, if that's what you're looking for, then fast forward it if you want. I don't really care. Uh, Don McLean. I don't do this for views. I just do it because it's fun. Dino Raja. Steve Smith. Come on. We're down to a few cards left. Kobe, come on. Wesley Pearson. Oh, boy. This is the last card in the middle, and then Danny Manning's on the back. Come on, Kobe. Ah, oh, Ed, uh, Corey Alexander. Dang, and these ones aren't in bad shape at all, actually. A uh, little bit, a little bit touches here and there on the corners and stuff, but actually didn't come apart too bad at all. And Danny Manning. God, man, one of these packs. That was actually that pack wasn't. It was I don't know. Joe Dumars, Stockton. Uh, yeah, John Stockton and Dumars would be ones that I would take out of there. Oh yeah, and the <laughs> and the Ray Allen rookie. I forgot about that one. Uh, which has which unfortunately was on the front and has a few little dents and stuff on the on the edges. Uh, so yeah, I would say the definitely the Ray Allen rookie is the. Um, it is a rookie, right? Call yeah, it's just got his college stats on the back. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is his rookie year. Uh, yeah, so there you go. Uh, nothing too super crazy out of that pack. Um, and whatever, some um, Shaq, Shaq inserts and stuff. Uh, definitely some of my favorites. The uh, the black diamond, the double diamond. Um, the uh, 93 beam team and then this four card four card wrapper redemption set that i am definitely want to check and find out more about that card in a in a refractor anyways uh that's about all i got talk to you later peace